Hi, what are those five income tax exemptions that even uh, new tax regime allows? You are all aware that there are two tax regimes available now. Under the old scheme, which is already there, you are all aware that under AT and uh, ADCCD up to 1.5 lakhs and 50,000 rupees additionally on NPS new pension scheme is allowed in that as exemptions. So what are those five things which are which can be looked into the new, new scheme also effectively from uh, this financial year. Standard deduction is allowed up to 50,000 introduced in the budget 2023 to make the new regime more appealing to the taxpayers. Number two. Employer's contribution to employees NPL, this is lesser known tax benefits and available under both regimes. Rupees up to 1.5 lakhs is available under ATC, you are all aware. And 50,000 under ATCCD 1B. So this is the exemption in addition to 1.5 lakhs available. The employer is capped at 7.5 lakhs a year under the new regime. Point three. Tax exemptions on life insurance maturity proceeds. Investments come insurance policy maturity proceeds are tax free under both the regimes. If you pay over 2.5 lakh on policies purchased after February 1, 2021, the maturity proceeds will attract tax. If aggregate premium bought post April 1, 2023, that is after 20 days of, you know, now today we are in, uh, uh, say, 11 after this month end of march 2023 if you are taking a policy which exceeds 5 lakhs premium the income earned at the end of the tenure will be subjected to the tax so it will it is taxable so three we have seen what are the two more thing which is which are there on that standard deduction under on the rental income that you are receiving if you own a property that you rented out you can claim standard deduction of 30% of the property value. So this you must be aware. The last one, point number five, uh, PPF, Public Provident Fund or Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana. Under this, no tax to be paid on maturity proceeds from investments made in PPF. That is Public Provident Fund and Sukanya Samriddhi scheme. However, under new regime, investments made in these accounts will not be eligible for section ATC deduction up to 1.5 lakh that old regime provides. So these are the, the clarifications between old and new tax regime that is introduced from this financial year budget this 2023 which will be implemented in the year 23 to 24. So you can uh, make use of these additional benefits that are available and then uh, make the tax exemptions available on your income. Thank you very much for patiently watching. Bye-bye.